Welcome back again, folks. Andrew Jones here, Mr. Creamy. All right, today we are again for another episode of In the Kitchen. Um, today, what we will be doing is uh, in stark contrast to what you would see we normally do, uh, we are doing a vegetarian offering today in the form of our lentil loaf. So it's a vegetarian spin on our meatloaf. Um, today is we will be using lentils. This could be done with black beans. It could also be done done with uh, chickpeas or chana, or with a combination of beans and legumes. All right, but today we'll be using strictly lentils. All right. So for the cast of ingredients today, we have some pre-soaked lentils. All right. So this has been soaking for the last four or five hours. It was soaked with some hot water. That they will just cut down on the actual cooking time. All right, we have some vegetarian cheese. This is about six or seven ounces that has been grated. All right, we have some onions, pimento, and garlic. All right, we have some carrots that has been grated. And we have our fine assortment of local green seasonings that have just been chipped up. All right, so we are going to begin. We already have a pot on the fire, just warming up. Uh, we will be using and cooking with some coconut oil today. All right, not too much oil, but this is just the start. And we are going to start with our onions, pimentos, and garlic. And this is just to start to sweat and create a nice flavorful base for our dish. Oh God. Down to the bowl and all know how sweet the food will be. Going on a medium low. And we're going to sweat these for maybe one to two minutes. We don't necessarily want to put any color on the vegetables. Alright? All we want to really do is to wake them up and bring out some flavor. What we are going to add are some dry spices. Again, we are partnering with our friends at Charlo's Farm. And this is their signature seasoning blend. And again, folks, it is dry pimentos, herbs, garlic, ginger. And trust me, it's really, really nice. All right, so again, not too much, because again, we are seasoning as we go. All right, so we allow that just to toast for about 30 seconds in the oil. All right, we have some sive, we have a bit of celery, some shadow benny, fine thyme. All right, and we are going into the pot. So we realize we're going with a lot of herbage. All right, we are going with a lot of herbage. We have a little bit of big time or potty now. Keeping with our mantra to season as we go. All right, we are starting with just a bit of sea salt, well, pink salt, I should say, not sea salt. All right, and a bit of fine ground black pepper. All right, and this would be the first of several doses of flavorings and seasonings as we go. Lastly, we are coming with some of our lentils. Now, we're not going to do all, all right. We're moving from a medium low to a medium. I'm just going to toss this in that flavorful oil. Let everybody just get to know each other. All right, just for maybe about a minute or two. So approximately three to four minutes would have elapsed. All right, and everything is married. All right, you see we have no water in the bottom of the pot. But even though these legumes would have been soaked, we need them to boil now, right? We need them to fully soften, right? But this is not, we're not boiling to the extent of like a stew peas, right? We still want to have some texture to it. Why is that? The reason for that is it is a vegetarian, a full meatloaf. So at the end of the cooking, once you get the desired texture, we're actually going to mash it a bit. So we want some of the lentils to still retain some texture, whilst others will be able to mash 
and that will give a better mouth feel and texture right similar to again as i say it is a faux meatloaf so that's the reason why we would have seasoned it so heavily with all the usual suspects so we just add in enough water here we will allow this piece to cook for maybe 20 minutes 30 but after about 20 to 30 minutes but at 20 minute mark we'll come and take a look at it and look at the texture just about 15 to 20 minutes have elapsed and the water have evaporated and because the lentils would have been soaking for probably the last couple hours maybe about four to five hours 20 minutes and that's it all right so at this point we are going to move on to the next phase of preparing our lentils off Look, and as we take the spoon i could actually press the lentils now i won't i'm not going to puree or anything like that because i don't want a lentil mash all right i don't want a lentil mash so if you could recall when we began if we pressed here you would have gotten a clearish liquid you see it's quite thick quite viscous and this is only because it is still hot as this begins to cool right it will start to coagulate right or thicken up so we have a lot of base flavors and we are going to add to them now so here we have some just some regular frozen whole kernel corn this will add a touch of sweetness pops of sweetness right as well as some color to the dish some grated carrot right this serves a similar function as well right it adds color as well as it adds some sweetness these rolled oats are going to add structure and body as well as the starches with it they are going to cause the lentil loaf to bind and hold its shape and texture all right we are starting with one cup and we just stir this in all right thank you right now remember we are making lentil loaf not lentil brick <laughs> all right so at this time here you see how quickly right with the residual heat from the cooking pot the lentils themselves the entire texture of the dish has now started to change remember we're talking that it is a vegetarian dish so we did go ahead and get vegetarian cheese to be able to add to the dish to remain compliant all right and what we are going to do this cheese has already been shredded we are going to work quite quickly because we don't want it to be that we allow it to sit for too long and then you end up with a bowl of cheese and the kids the husband the friend or the relative upset because when you cut your slice <laughs> <laughs> they get a glob of cheese and then another person their slice goes without in a traditional meatloaf um, eggs and eggs bread milk will come together to form something called a panade right or eggs and breadcrumbs would be used the oats takes the place of the breadcrumbs or the bread and the cheese takes the place the vegetarian cheese takes the place of the um the eggs half and half yes please all right messed up there and see mm -hmm. how right. so now we have all these ingredients and all we are looking to do is to cook the oats a bit mm -hmm. dry out the loaf a bit and add a little bit of a crust 350 degree oven and we will check at around i would say 30 to 45 minutes in the first instance and then because it's based on the levels of the pans between 45 minutes an hour have elapsed 
an hour then to the roof ay 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 it's done mm -hmm. all right so we wouldn't be able to cut right now we'll be able to cut a little bit later but the benefits of the chef ha ha <laughs> we could steal from our corner so you see we know that it is done we see we have some nice uh, browning coming around the edges as well as we are seeing some light little cracks here where it would have dried out all right so we know the carrots would be cooked the oats and whatnot will be cooked so what we'll do now all right see we have a nice little crust developed all right you'll have to wait all right this is recommended that you allow it to sit and cool all right all right See, so we could have an idea of the texture. Follow your bunny mountain. Mm -hmm. Looking good. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Very good. Very, very good. Everything coming through. Very good. I started spinning because my mind going. Mm -hmm. With everything. We getting all the aromatics, getting everything. all of the green seasonings, right? There's a little bit of bite from the oats, but you're not tasting the raw oats because the bit of moisture that would have remained, that would have allowed enough moisture and time within the oven to cook the oats through while it's giving it some body and texture. We are seeing you're getting a bit of the sweetness from the carrots and the corn mm -hmm. and also the cheese giving it that lovely lovely flavor as well as a bit of saltiness it adding as well look mr carrot stand up there mm -hmm. a slight crisp with regards to the top of the crust so folks we had, to wrap, we had to wrap it up now but i really and sure you can't wait for this to cool another serving option as well just like meat loaf when it's cool or even chill and it's allowed to solidify. You can slice and reheat, whether it be by way of the oven or in the microwave. Also with a slightly grease pan and saute. A flash saute. Really, really nice. That's one for you, babe? Yes. Nope. <laughs> mm -hmm. Well, it's nice. Alright, folks. Loving the house. <laughs> Bye.